to load this video everywhere because this video alone is enough to prove really Islam is a fascist stupid religion. And remember, my, my target is not really to insult Muslims. Uh, you know, I'm speaking about Islam, but, you know, sadly, Muslims, they don't separate between speaking about the religion as a belief and idea and them. Uh, you know, Islam, became, it, it's an ID for them. It's not just a belief. Uh, and when, when a religion became an ID to you, uh, you cannot really see it from far away because the ID is so close to you, so you cannot see it. The same way as if your clothes is dirty, you will not notice how dirty they are until somebody from far away, he, he look at you and say, you know what, your, your clothes is dirty. That's why the Muslims do not want to see what they have because simply they are wearing those clothes. They don't want to see them from outside. Anyway, in this hadith in here, there is many problems and they are really super problems. First of all, this is Sahih al-Bukhari, and this is book number 60, and this is a very strong hadith, because I know Muslims, they will say, oh, it's a weak hadith. Stop lying. This is a very fat, even more fat than Muhammad. And here we see the story start as the following. Allah Apostle said, so who is the one is talking? Remember, this is not uh, he, she, you know, this, is, this is Muhammad himself speaking. So make no mistake, this is Muhammad himself giving a teaching. Adam and Moses met. You know, from the beginning, from the beginning, you know, Muhammad is really living his fantasy. How? Because if the Muslim believe that Adam is dead and Moses is dead, and until now they are dead, so Adam and Moses met where? So this is the first mistake in here. It's very clear Muhammad is making up a story. It's not a true. Because where Adam, where Moses, how they met, how did they talk? And Moses says to Adam, here we go, they are, you know, the, the dead people, they are talking, this is the zombie land. And Moses said to Adam, you are the one who made people miserable and turned them out of paradise. Look at this accusation. Moses is accusing Adam that because of you, Adam, you made all human beings out of paradise. The Muslim, all of them, you, you talk to any Muslim, they say to you, Muslims, all the Muslims agree, for, you know, because of their, the foolishness of a human being sometimes, that prophets of God do not make mistakes. And this is Moses now. So my point is, the Muslims cannot say to me that Moses is a stupid guy, he do not need, to, he, he, know, he need to go and learn from uh, the Mullah. From Al-Qaradawi, from Osama bin Laden, this is the Prophet Musa. And for them, supposedly, this is a superstar. For sure, he is not strong like Muhammad. Muhammad, he can have sex with 40 women in one night. He had the power of 40 men. Musa, maybe he can have sex with two only. So for sure, Muhammad is a lot more strong. But according to Muslims, all prophets of God, they are protected by Allah and they do no mistakes. Especially... Carefully, especially when it's come to religion, which is false. Because here we go, look what Moses is doing. Moses is teaching the original sin. Moses the Muslim, remember, this is not Moses the Jewish guy. This is Moses the Muslim. And the one who's speaking here is Muhammad himself. So Moses the Muslim is saying, accusing Adam that it is because of him, all human beings, they are out of paradise. What does that mean? It's mean, I am out because of original sin. So Moses, he promote what the Christian believe in. Moses have a Christian belief, even though he is no Christian. Moses, according to this, which is funny, he have wrong understanding of Islam. Moses is ignorant about Islam. Moses is being a stupid fool. How this happened, I have no idea. Like, did Allah explain to Moses what original sin mean? Did Allah explain to Moses that this is wrong? Did Allah, how he became a prophet, this guy? Did Allah read his resume? If Christianity is wrong and original sin is wrong, why Moses is adopting our belief? Something wrong there. Either Moses is right and Allah wrong, or Allah is wrong anyway because he chose the wrong guy who have wrong belief. And look in here what happened. The story continue. Adam said to him, <coughs> You are the one whom Allah selected for his message and whom selected for himself and upon whom he revealed the Torah. Which means Adam, he did not say, no, it's not my the reason. L listen in here. 
Be careful. Until now, Adam, he did not refuse what Moses has said. Which means it's even Adam, he agree. Yes, because of me, you people out of heaven. But now, Adam will come in with a real serious excuse for what happened. Read carefully. After he told Moses that, you know, Allah, he chose you, so, you know, you are a lucky guy. Moses agreed, said yes. So Adam said, Did you find that written in my fate before my creation? Did you find that written in my fate before my creation? What is that written in his fate? What, what, that, what he, when he speak about that, what, that, what? He's speaking about how and why he turned people out of paradise. Musa said, yes. So it is written for Musa, sorry, for Adam before his creation that he is going to do sin and that will make people go out of paradise. And in here, Muhammad continues saying, So Adam overcome Moses with this argument. So Adam, he won the argument. Proving what? Proving that, you know what? Yes, uh, it is true. I am the one. I am the reason for all of you to be out of heaven. So even Adam, he believed in the original sin. Number two, he made a point saying, But still, I am just doing the will of Allah. Because yes, I did sin, yes, I did disobey Allah, but it's written in my faith before my creation. Which means I cannot change it, it is Allah's decision for me. Now based on this, we find that this hadith proves that original sin is true. Both of them, Adam and Moses, agree about it. They excuse Adam, he won the argument against, against Moses, is that it's not his fault, it is Allah's decision it is his fate. He have no choice. But do you know what does that mean? This is mean every mistake you do, every sin you do, every crime you do, it is your fate. It is your destiny. It is Allah's decision for you and you have no free will. And based on that, Allah is really a stupid God. Because why he want to punish Adam to be out of paradise and punishing all mankind, his seeds, to be out of paradise too, where it was the fate made for Adam to be out of paradise anyway. When it is not even the mistake or the sin of Adam, because Adam, he was just a victim. Because Muslims, they say that no one can really change his destiny. If Allah decides for you something, that's it. He decides. And Allah decides for all of us supposedly everything. You see, for Muslims, anything you do in your life, it is written in the book of Allah. You spit, it's written there. You do poo it's written there. You fart, it's written there. You have sex, it's written there. You do adultery, it's written there. It is written there, which means it's made as a decision for you. Allah is the one who chooses even who will become a Muslim and who will become a Christian. This is a hadith of Sahih al-Bukhari, book number 55, hadith number 549. You can read your own translation, you know, you can go to read them. The Muslim translation is the same, not, not a big deal really. Uh, uh, I'm reading from the Deception of Allah book. And here you will see the following. Uh, that a man, he will do all his life the deeds of people of heaven. And the only distance between him and heaven is an arm. An arm. Then what has been written by the angels will take over. So he start doing the deeds of people of hellfire. Guys, did you notice what's happening? This guy is a good guy. He is doing the work of people going to heaven. He is working hard all his life. There is an arm only between him and heaven. Arm, just arm. You know what arm? Suddenly, suddenly, what is written for him, what is written for him by the angels will take over. 
and this person will change. Which means somebody, which is Allah supposedly, by the remote control, he hit the bomb, and right away he changed to do the work of what? Of people of hellfire. Is that fair? This is what destiny in Islam is. This is how stupid this religion is. Which means, in Islam there is no really something you can do to go to heaven or not. It is what is written at the end will take over. And this is mean, this is very stupid religion. Very, very stupid. Because you know what? You, I am a Christian, not because I choose to be Christian. I'm a choose, I, I'm Christian because it's Allah, He decides for me to be Christian. And maybe, maybe one day before an arm from me going to hell, He hit the bomb and I will go. And I will do the work of heaven. Read with me. So this guy, the good guy, he will enter the hellfire. Here we go, we stop in here. Now, there's another person, identical person, but he was the bad guy, who may do the deeds of work of hellfire. You see, this is a different guy, he is doing the work of hellfire. And then, in the right, in the same time, uh, you know, what is written for him is going to take over. And he will start doing the work of heaven, and he will go to paradise. This is how stupid this religion is. Have no logic, and when Muslim they speak about good deeds and prayer and you know all those stuff, it's really it's a big stupid thing, because as you see, you know it's not in your hand. It's not the good deeds. It is what is written for you. So who is the stupid who will belong to such a religion? Forgive me for saying the word is stupid, but you know what? I cannot believe it that how is stupid people to believe in it. Look at this. I'm not making things up. It's in the front of your eyes. And you know what? If you don't like my translation, you can go and read the translation from the Muslim. You know, the Muslim website. And I have no problem with that because it's going to be almost the same. Nothing you do it is what is written for you. Nothing you choose, it's what's written for you. If you read in chapter 6, verse 107, it says that those, the pagan, who they worship many gods, if Allah want, they will not become like that. They will become a Muslim. But Allah don't want that. You see it? It's like, come on. What's wrong with this religion? What's wrong with this religion? In chapter 81, verse number 28, it says, To whomsoever of you wanted to walk in the correct direction to be a Muslim. Verse number 29, And you will not unless Allah be the desire, uh, it be the desire of Allah. It is a desire of Allah. It, you know, it's a desire of Allah to be correct. It's a desire of Allah to be wrong. This is how stupid, ugly, disgusting, funny, silly, Islam is. I hope you guys you did learn, and I hope soon you will get my book. The Deception of Allah is going to be out in a very short time from now, so I hope you will enjoy it. Seek the truth, and the truth will set you free. God bless you all. See you soon. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. Amen.